Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sayers, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I want to talk to you about how to fix Solus if you do an update on Solus Plasma and you get this broken login screen. So I was going to install Solus Plasma on my new desktop that I caught on sale at the big box store. It's a Ryzen 2200G with a Vega 8. It's quad core, has 16 gigs of RAM, and I stuck a 550 MSI GPU in it. So I got ready. I went and got the Solus Plasma ISO. I made a Solus Plasma USB stick and I went on to install Solus Plasma. Now, what happened was it installed correctly, no problem. And, you know, everything seemed to be fine until I went to update through the software center, which on Budgie or Gnome, I don't use Mate, so I don't know if this is an issue with Mate. I've never had this problem with Budgie or Gnome, but for some reason on Solus Plasma, it wanted to break. And so after I installed, I had Linux set as my main OS to boot into. So I, you know, it would always boot into Solus because Solus doesn't really use a grub boot screen in the same way as something like Ubuntu or Arch or Manjaro would. So I reset my boot order, popped over and got into Solus Plasma. Now, as I was installing Solus Plasma, I had no issues. Everything worked fine. I got the normal boot screen and I was able to log in. No issues. Okay. And so my initial idea was to install Solus Plasma and show people with real tech Wi-Fi chips how to install the Wi-Fi driver. But I ran into this issue, so I thought this would be a better video to make first. So I basically go in software center. I turn off the, uh, the battery thing. So it doesn't uh, go into sleep mode while it's doing updates. That way there won't be any errors. I start doing my updates like normal. Like everyone does. Put your password in, begin an update, wait on that update to finish. You know, things of that nature. But what I had happen was after I completed the update and did a reboot, I had this problem. I couldn't click on anything. I couldn't put in my password. So I thought, hmm, what can I do to get around this? Control Alt F2. Open a terminal. I open a, it opens up into a full screen terminal. So if you have to hook up to wired internet to have internet to do this do that okay so tap in your login name your password and i did sudo eopkg up and i just updated everything just to make sure i didn't miss anything and that all went perfectly normal except when i booted back in i still had I had a bunch of missing packages from the software center. Normally I did all the updates, all, all the everything from the app center. And so when I get into this terminal and in the, after the, the broken boot screen, I've still got more updates. And even after doing those updates, I still had the issue. So I searched in the EOPKG help and found that there was EOPKG clean which cleans up broken packages and, and other things. After I did this, okay, I did the updates again after cleaning up all of the, uh, I guess, broken packages or missing packages or whatever was lost here. And everything seemed to install correctly then. So if you run into this issue, Control-Alt-F2 will bring open a terminal in that broken screen that you can go ahead and clean up the package manager. So it's sudo EOPKG clean and then let it do its thing and then update, do all your updates. That way it gets all the missing or broken packages that it didn't get the first time. Now, I don't know, I'm not trying to be 
you know, all knowing or anything, but I just wonder if it has anything to do with plasma being QT and the software center being GTK. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just a flaw right now. Solus Plasma is the newest desktop environment for Solus. So that may be part of the issue. It may not. I don't know. But I thought I'd put this out there if anybody's had this issue. And they want to use Plasma instead of the normal GNOME, Budgie, or Mate. But as you can see, it goes through all the updates just fine. No problems. Didn't have any issues. No mishaps as far as that goes. And everything was working perfectly fine. The clean, the pseudo EOPKG clean really did fix the problem. And once I did that, everything worked perfectly, smoothly, and just as it should. So I can't really complain, even though I had to <laughs> reinstall all of these packages like three times. But, you know, if you've downloaded the Solus ISO and you become frustrated, with the updates, just do this. Get to the boot screen, go into the terminal, and do your update there before ever booting in. But as you can see here, it gets all the packages just fine. It gets all of it done, fixed, and we're able to boot back into Solus Plasma like normal. So hopefully, if you've had this issue, this can fix it for you as well. Now, I am on a Ryzen 2200G, a little quad-core four-thread with Vega A graphics, uh, one generation behind as of right now, September 13th, 2020. And as you can see, everything was a success. The clear boot manager always seems to fail in this. As you can see it there, it says failed, but that always seems to happen. I don't know why. But once I did a, a <laughs> I did a ha ha there. Um, re, I did the reboot and boom, I'm right in. So I hope this helps somebody out. If it did, thumbs up, subscribe. And since you're already here on YouTube, check out one of our other videos on your screen now. All right, guys and gals, have a great day. We'll see you next time.